Bonjour mes amis, bienvenue à ma chaîne. Today I'm going to be doing a very easy, like, for beginners everyday makeup. Uh, I'm going to try to use most drugstore products, but I'm not going to promise anything. You don't have to duplicate every single product I'm going to use. Use whatever you have, as long as you have something that's similar. Not in um, quality wise, as long as you have a foundation, a concealer, it doesn't matter what brand. If it works for you, it works for you. I'm just going to be giving you guys a talk through um, basically what to do for beginners. and. Yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who are trying to do makeup too. And don't forget to subscribe. I think I already said that. I don't know. But let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my brows. And I'm actually using eyeshadow to do my brows. Okay, so I'm going to brush all my hairs upwards and take like a brown shade that's a little bit lighter than my actually it's kind of like the exact color of my brows my brows are like a faded black color i'm just gonna do light strokes in the same direction as my brow hairs do not go trying to make your brow look like something it's not so as i go i'm just gonna keep brushing through Literally following the exact shape of my brows. Okay, I'm going to be taking a flat brush like this. This is a Real Techniques brush. I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the shade 5.0. This is way too light for me and way too thick of a consistency, I think, for your face. But for your brows, it is a bomb. I'm only going to be using it on the bottom. And I'm going to be using my face concealer for the top, which is going to be the Maybelline <laughs> Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. Oh crap, see I just messed it up a bit. Okay, well look, you guys might mess up too, you never know. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm just gonna take my powder that I was using and just fill it back in how I want it. So my brows are done, I probably look crazy, but the foundation is going to help with that. So. Anyway, to start off with my face, I already moisturized my face with this Nivea cream and I'm going to be spraying it with this e.l.f. makeup spray slash setting spray just like kind of as a priming base because I don't really like to use a legit primer so kind of just died a little so I'm just going to put that all over so I'm just going to be blending that out with a beauty blender. So sorry about the lighting changes. It's fine. I was literally just about to tell you guys be careful around your brows because you don't want to ruin them and I just ruined them. So basically you're going to conceal the areas that you want to stand out more 
and pop out more and also be concealed um, a lot of people like to conceal under their eyes because they have bags or wrinkles or whatever it is in their nose because it just helps the bone structure stand out more and make your nose look more slim and when the light hits you these are the areas that it hits you so that's why they choose to conceal these specific areas so i'm just going to blend that out you really want to make sure it's all blended if not you're going to end up having flashback a lot of people blame flashback on powders which most of the time it is powder but sometimes your powder can be fine the powder that you set your concealer with sometimes it's your concealer not being blended out enough and um so just make sure that you're really really beating your face up for real as you can see i'm using the part where i had foundation on my beauty blender to help blend out the edges of the um, of the concealer so that it's not too harsh Okay, so now that everything is blended out, you want to make sure you have no wrinkles anywhere under your eyes or anything. So, before you set it, I'm going to be using this crown banana powder. This was very expensive, honestly, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure it was $60. Uh, so, I don't really recommend a beginner to get this. You can use air sponge powder. Okay, I know I don't really include every single, like... I edit the video obviously but I think it also helps when you actually sit and follow the tutorial as you go so I really hope y'all sitting with me and doing it with me if you are you should give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoying it so far anyway so I'm about to take my beauty blender and put some powder on it and set my under eyes so basically I put powder on it I'm gonna blow on it a little bit and first I'm just gonna press it in y'all see that diff oh my god this lighting's too bright okay but do you see the difference it might look a little weird right now but you see the difference bomb okay so i set everything in place it looks crazy right now i'm gonna blend it all out for me personally my under eyes crease the most so I'm actually going to take a little bit of extra powder and kind of bake it for a second just to help with not creasing throughout the day throughout the day I can't even talk just like so and my nose and these areas okay so as i wait for that to bake this is the time where i like set the rest of my face and i just take some more of that banana powder this lighting is really gonna catch a case with me um i take the rest a little bit of that banana powder and set the rest of my face because you don't want to continue on with your face makeup without setting it because everything is just going to become blotchy and dry like look like it's streaky because your face was like your foundation wasn't set with a powder now i'm going to contour take any contour powder you can use an eyeshadow to contour i used to do that i probably still could i'm just like i don't think of it sometimes any type of contour powder and an angled brush like this and you're gonna find usually you're you're gonna contour from the top of your ear but you can always make that fish face to find where your cheekbones go in and I like to pat the powder on first and also up here you're kind of making like a three so I'm gonna start making circular motions I like to contour here because I have a double chin I'm gonna like squeeze I could take another brush but that's doing too much I'm gonna squeeze my brush and oops sorry <laughs> Contour my nose. And I usually don't do this, but if my contour isn't 
like as sharp as I wanted to. I just take a little bit more of that banana powder and carve it out. Mm -mm -mm. Let it rain. I clear it out. Let it rain. Clear it out. Let it rain. I clear it out. Now I'm just going to take a brush that has a little bit of my foundation powder on it and I'm going to sweep away the powder under my eyes and under my contour. This part, oh my gosh, I'm really going to kill someone, this lighting. Anyway, you really want to make sure you're blending out your break because if you don't, you're going to get flashback or it's just going to look really patchy. Okay, now it's time for everyone's favorite part, getting that glow. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit palette thing, but you don't have to use this. You can use any, literally an eyeshadow, anything shimmery that you have, you can use as a glow using this fan brush and I literally mixed all the colors in this one this is the um, sun dipped one and you want to place that on the higher oh just got some on my shirt on the higher parts of your cheek bone so a little bit above um, Where you contoured and under your eyebrow and on top of your eyebrow that's where I like to put it that's where I feel the Sun hits me so I kind of overdid it with the glow way too much but it's okay um, next I'm gonna be doing my blush you can use any type of brush for your blush I'm using eyeshadow as my blush um, any type of pink, orangish type of tones. I don't like to do anything too light because I'm a little crazy or too dark because I'm a little crazy. Basically, your brush is brush. Your well, yeah, your brush and your blush is gonna be placed right in between the contour and the highlight. Do, 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 do. I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Voluminous Curve Brush Mascara. When you're applying mascara, always look down into your mirror so that you're not getting any mascara on your eyelid. Okay, so that basically completes the look. I'm probably not going to keep this lip combo on because I'm going to work. Honestly, I just felt like filming a video for you guys. I work with kids, so there's no point. Like, I'm on, I hate, I can't wear makeup for longer than two hours. I cannot do it. I can't. I'm going to start to get irritated. So I'm definitely taking those off as soon as I get home from work. But the last thing I'm going to do is spray my face with this e.l.f. setting spray. 